So question number 17. So two identical disks A and B of mass capital M and radius small r. So he's saying that there are two disks. So he's saying that the two disks are identical. So mass of the disk is given as capital M and radius of the disk is given as r. So he's saying that these two disks are left from an inclined surface. So the two disks are undergoing a pure rolling motion. So from the inclined surface. So the question is like this. So two identical disks A and B of mass M and radius R are rolling down an inclined plane. So for disk A, total mass is concentrated at the circumference and disk B, mass is uniformly distributed so from center to circumference. So if VA and VB are velocities of A and B, then find the ratio of VA by VB. So he's saying that there are two disks and the two disks are A and B. So A is one disk, B is one disk. So he's saying that so disk A is a ring shaped disk and disk B is a plate shaped disk. I can say the mass is uniformly distributed. So both the disks are of same radius and same mass. So whenever the disk is undergoing pure rolling motion, so I can say the total kinetic energy is nothing but kinetic energy due to translation plus kinetic energy due to rotation. And he's saying that the two disks are left from an inclined uh, surface. I can say if this is the inclined surface, so if I take two disks, so if I leave the two disks from this point, I can say when the disk was here, when the disk was here, so center of mass of the disk is somewhere over here, I can say due to this height, it is having some potential energy. When the disk rolls down this inclined plane, all this potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. So I can say it is kinetic energy due to translation and kinetic energy due to rotation combines, so this potential energy. So since the, both the disks are of same mass and were uh, at the same height initially, so when they were left, so both the disks were having same potential energy initially. So when they left, so both the disks were rolling down. So as they rolled down, so their respective potential energies got converted into kinetic energies. Since initially the potential energies of both the disks were same, so final kinetic energies of both the disks will also remain same. So by equating kinetic energy of disk A and kinetic energies of disk B, I can get the ratio of velocity of A and velocity of B. Now see here, <coughs> so here this disk is undergoing a pure rolling motion. So I can say kinetic energy, so due to rolling, it's nothing but so kinetic energy so due to rotation plus so kinetic energy so due to translation so this is kinetic energy so if i take disk a so if i take disk a so kinetic energy for disk a is nothing but so kinetic energy for disk a is nothing but kinetic energy due to rotation so half so i omega square so i'm writing kinetic energy due to rotation is half i omega square plus kinetic energy due to translation half mv square. So this half mv square and this i omega square are different for these two disks and we need to get the ratio of this velocity ratios for disk A and disk B. Now see here if I take disk A so it is like this so half so for disk A you can say it's a ring shaped disk so moment of inertia for a ring shaped disk is m r square. So omega I can write as so velocity of A so divided by radius of A whole square plus half so M into velocity of A whole square. So I can eliminate this R square and this R square I can write. So half M V A square half M V A square I can say it is simply M V A square. So this is the kinetic energy for a disk A. So if you look at kinetic energy for a disk B, for disk B kinetic energy half for disk, as you can see, it is m r square by 2, i is m r square by 2, and velocity, it's disk b, velocity of disk b, so divided by radius of disk b, plus, so half m, so velocity of b square, so I can eliminate this radius, so this r I can eliminate, now you can see, it's a half m by 2 v b square, half m v b square, so I can say, it is so 1 by 4, so m v b square plus, so 1 by 2 m v b square. I can say it is, so 3 by 4 m v b square. It's 3 by 4 m v b square. Since both the disks were left from the same height, they were having the same potential energies, and all the potential energies getting converted into kinetic energy, and this is the kinetic energy for disk A now, and this is the kinetic energy for disk B now. And from law of conservation of energy, I can write, so m, so v a square is equals to, so 3 by 4 m v b square. I can say, since both are of same masses, I can eliminate that one. I can write, 
So velocity of A to velocity of B is root 3 by 4. 